What's going on folks, this is Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV, and what I got for you right here is a 2019 Winnebago Mini Plus 27 RB DS. It is a really nice little Winnebago pull behind trailer, so let's just get right into the specs so we can check it out for ourselves, guys. All right, we have a total length of 30 feet, seven inches. We have a height of 10 feet, 10 inches. We have a fresh water capacity of 50 gallons, a gray water capacity of 69 gallons, and a black water capacity of 28 gallons. And we have a dry weight of 7,020 pounds. Um, all right, guys, I think that's pretty much it that I got for specs. So let's see what we got to deal with. All right, we'll come up here. You can see that we do have a power tongue jack, which is always beneficial. We also have um, 60 pounds of LP gas. And then here is our battery tray. It can fit two batteries. Over here, we have our pass-through storage area. And we do have magnetic clips to hold back the pass-through storage doors. Here you go. It is pretty solid room. If we look up here, we can see our a tubular aluminum uh, floor. We also have an aluminum sidewall construction with fiberglass walls and um, a TPO roof. Over here we do have a power leveling system, always a humongous benefit. Don't have to get down on your knees to crank out your jacks. And come down the side. We do have a 50 amp input. And then we can see the controls for our levels down here. And one thing that I always think is really smart is companies typically, if you have electronic leveling systems, at least I know Winnebago and Forest River does this purposely, but they will put the controls on the opposite side of where your entrance is. So if you have kids, they aren't tempted to play with the level controls while, um, you know, they're outside running around. I always have really liked that. Um, right here, we can see our 10 gallon um, water heater. It is electric and gas. It's a two-way, which is always a big benefit. So while you're at a park or while you're at a um, park or whatever, you can plug in your shoreline, and you don't have to use your LP on your water heater. We do have 120 ports on the outside. Um, I believe our furnace is 30,000 BTU. We look up there, we can see we do have exterior speakers with lights on them. Um, we also do have a solid one piece front fiberglass cap and an NXG chassis. And up there is our 20 foot awning. It does have an LED under light. Alrighty folks, let's step inside. I've got the AC running pretty good in here. We do have a 15,000 BTU. AC unit. I've had it running in here for about 10 minutes. It's already starting to get nice and cool in here. I can definitely feel a difference coming in from outside. Uh, let's, let's just start with the entertainment area. So we have these two really nice, comfortable leatherette um, theater chairs. And then in the center, we have a 32 inch TV 
with a um, Jensen radio. We have a fireplace down there, and then just a little bit of storage up above the television. Over here on this wall right here, we have your, fur, your, your control panel. And here is our booth dinette. It does fold out into an extra sleeping place for one other individual. Um, come over here to the kitchen. I was very impressed. I mean, Corian countertops, you know, are always very nice. But I was specifically very impressed with these Corian countertops. They're some of the nicest and closest looking to real granite that I have ever seen. Um, over here, we do have a two bowl 50-50 stainless steel sink. It is nice and deep. Deep enough to wash dishes. Or, pots and pans easily anyway under here we have our under the sink storage and that is a very large storage area for under the sink you could very cleanly fit a um a pretty decent sized tr kitchen trash can in there over here we have a shelving fold out just for extra storage Here is our eight foot, eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. It is also two way, two way gas electric. Over here, we have our oven, our three way, our three burner stove with a hood and then just a little bit more storage up here. And then we have our microwave with a few utensil drawers. And over here, just some extra shelving storage. Um, there is a fantastic amount of counter space. You know, having this middle middle island really gives you a lot more prep area for cooking and everything, which is always very nice. Um, and then over here, um, we do have a absolutely massive pantry. This pantry is the size that you'd see in a one bedroom apartment. It is gigantic. That is fantastic. You can fit all the hot dogs, weenies, and s'mores you could ever want in there. We also do have in-floor ducted heating. Um, let's see, let's, t let's take it to the bathroom, folks. Oh, I was pulling the wrong way. Um, in here we have our bathroom. Let's turn on some lights. We do have a porcelain Dometic toilet. Over here, we have a very nice closet area. And then a good place for, I don't know, extra shampoo storage or uh, folded towels, things like that. I do also really like these cabinets all throughout we also have them in the kitchen they are like an unstained style so even though they are they're supposed to look like unstained flat wood and i think it looks really good in here um especially with like the dark countertops and gray wall the white cabinetry really lightens it up a little bit here's the under the sink area we have our medicine cabinet and then over here, we have our two-door shower. 
plenty of arm room. You're not going to have trouble, trouble scrubbing yourself. We also have um, the skylight for a little bit more headroom. It's something very interesting in this bathroom that you do not see in every single camper is um, we have a little laundry hamper right here. So that's always really nice. You know, you're taking a shower, boom, dirty clothes, take them off, they go right in the hamper. That's a fantastic um, storage space. You know, in, in campers, there's just, you have to deal with the fact that you only have so much amount of space and two things that always get left or three big things that always get left out in consideration of trying to fit through those spaces is laundry, shoes, and trash. Um, you know, very seldom do you see a good shoe storage place, a good laundry storage place, or a good trash space, especially laundry. You know, it's very hard to come across a laundry hamper or something like that. So this is an absolutely fantastic feature. Um, alrighty guys, let's take it on down to the master bedroom. So, this is the master bedroom area. We have a queen size mattress with a little bit of clothes hanging storage area on either side. We have two USB ports and a 120 volt. So you could plug your phone in have your CPAP machine running at the same time. Up here, there is a great amount of over the head storage. Do have a 12 volt fan up in the ceiling. Over here, same thing. A little bit of hanging clothes storage. And then we have Two privacy doors on either side with a really nice little recessed TV stand so you can throw a TV in there if you're feeling wild you want to have movie night in the bed um, let's see anything else in here I can point out to you let's go out here one last important thing is we do have those really nice art Winnebago arch ceilings in here. So it gives you much more headroom. I believe it's about six, eight in here. Um, very nice. But um, let's see folks, what else is there? Um, I can give you my little Winnebago spiel, I suppose. Winnebago is always nice. Make 70% of their parts in house and they do keep a plethora of um, surplus parts therefore if you own a Winnebago and have any issues there will always be spare parts accessible and at the ready for you which is a huge peace of mind guarantee um, now guys I will get to the pricing so the MSRP for the Winnebago Mini Plus is but we have it down here on the lot right now today for and keep in mind that we are fee and haggle free so you don't have to come down here try to box us out to get a better price also while i'm walking around these things if you guys see anything that looks a little off just keep in mind that we do do our major service inspection post-purchase so we can make sure that you have the nicest, uh, the best possible RV when you come pick it up off the lot. And there may be a little bit of lead time for those services, so you can just call your salesman and they should give you an accurate estimation. All right, guys, now I'm just going to toss the number down there on the screen. And if you want to come check out this uh, Mini Plus or anything we else we have on our constantly growing lot, we have um, up uh, over 130 units on the lot at any single time. You'd be hard pressed 
to find a used RD dealership that has more of an inventory than us. So, if you want to see what we have to offer, just give us a shout or come on down and check it out for yourselves. Again, guys, I'm Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV. Hope you guys enjoyed the Mini Plus, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy, folks.